Alrighty, everybody. We are going to do a room tour of 202 at the Fairfield Inn and Suites in New Stanton, Pennsylvania. Which I may combine this into a full hotel tour. I haven't decided yet. So, we've got this weird looking key. This is pretty neat. These keys are pretty sturdy, too. So, here we go. <laughs> All right, this door is heavy. So as you can see, I've actually been here a few hours, but haven't really touched the room. So as you can see, if I put this away, I just set these right there for now. You got your hotel law, got your clearly readable fire map with security. If you want to read that, pause and enlarge. Got your uh, people there you got your latch lock just kind of funky looking and your deadbolt now as we come over here here's the other end of the room this is the bathroom which as you can see I got some stuff here so just ignore that all right you got your closet space which I got some stuff there that hasn't been used yet it's just sitting up there so here's your closet space you got your iron and your ironing board What's weird is this is the most expensive hotel in New Stanton, so you'd think this would be enclosed because this kind of gives you, a, like the elevator channel would say, a motel kind of vibe to it. Okay, you got your sink and your garbage can and me. Hello there. Got plenty of towels here. Pretty decent in quality. You got my stuff. Ignore the clutter. All right, and then as you come in the bathroom here, which here's the light, which here's funny. Here, here's what's funny. Here's the light switch for the bathroom, but you got all this space here, and I tried to look so hard for the light switch. Okay, so, but here's the bathroom. What's nice is elevator channel. If you do happen to come across this YouTube video, the fan is separate from the light. So you got your commode your turlet with the Kleenex box on top of it. Let me just flush it. I don't know what that was about. Hold on a second. That was weird. Sorry about that. There's the toilet flushing through for all you uh, toilet flushing fans. Here is the tub and shower, which I take baths, so I'm not going to turn on the shower, but based on the uh, more the pressure of the tub, you might get an idea. I'd say you got fairly decent water pressure. Now the toilet's deciding it wants to continue running. Shut up, toilet. Here's your towels and washcloths. Got my bath mat on the floor. It was hanging on the side of the tub. So now we're going to come out and go into the room, shall we? Which, as you come walk into the room on this side here, you got an awesome mirror. Hey there. Um, and then you got two beds. Which I will be sleeping in that one, so I'll tear it apart. Which, there's my maps and stuff. Here, this is cute. It's a little dresser drawer. I'm not going to show you the top drawer because that has my underwear and stuff in it. But there's a dresser drawer. If you're staying for a while, see how many clothes you can fit. I got several shirts and several pairs of pants in there. This is my uh, underwear and PJ and stuff type of drawer up here. Stuff you don't want to see. But you, know, you also have this little desk area with a whole bunch of stuff on it. Just ignore it. And I really like this fancy chair. Got this cool little lamp for when you're doing business, these stuffs. You got the TV. It's just the weather channel. I'm not too worried about it. As you can see it's 68 degrees. <laughs> okay. So over here you got this coal lamp, got this coal lamp, and in here you got some more storage space. But you got an alarm clock, you got an alarm clock with two USB ports and two plug-in ports. Pretty nice. Okay. So over here you got your coffee and coffee maker. The ice bucket was sitting on the bathroom sink. But I moved it out here, so when I go get ice, it's easier. But down here, you have your miniature fridge. And I mean, that is a mini fridge. Like, here's my leg. 
here's my leg. And there's the fridge. Probably tell it's pretty small, but hey, it works. Then in here, you got a microwave with extra storage down below. So that has some stuff in there, I'm on. Then you got this beautiful lamp. Which we'll do the bed and last. You got this beautiful lamp in the corner. <laughs> it's just a lamp. I don't know why I said beautiful. Okay, so here we go. They just renovated this place and this is cracked. The things you will find in a hotel. But anyway, you got this old traditional. I'm guessing when they renovated, they never replaced these because these aren't even digital, as you can see. And then, this is pretty cool. I like this for the shade. But let me show you a view outside. You're looking across the street to uh, my favorite place I like to stay, but I can't stay there. <laughs> and you know what? Some of you may know why. <laughs> But here we go. We'll dissect the bed here. Since we've got some more lighting. It's right here. Each bed has one. It's a reading light. Let me see if I can turn it on. See? You can read while you're in bed. Ooh, it's adjustable. Huh. Neat. You can adjust it a little bit. Okay. So. Here's the bed. Here's my stuff. Move that over. You got this throw pillow. I get that this is white, but I hate that they put this on hotels, hotel beds. Okay, so, for the bed, you got your, uh, which here's the pillows. They seem pretty decent. This one seems really soft. Okay, so, for the bed, you got this, uh, top sheet. Then you got your down comforter. I think no, I don't have a duvet on it you can, down comforter then you got your bottom sheet right there so here's the bed it almost feels like it's hard but really it's it's quite comfortable <laughs> you're looking at Bob Evans too across the street go ahead and lift that up nice looking mattress say it's fairly new okay so that was it for the hotel room tour I will probably consider doing a full hotel tour and combining this video I have not decided yet so thank you all for watching remember to like subscribe and comment and goodbye